Hey, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed 2. Right, gonna get straight down to business here. First, the stats on what I'm using. I'm using an iPhone 5S. I'm using the latest version of iTunes in 2018. That's iTunes 12.7.3. And I'm using a PC, not a Mac, to transfer my audiobooks into iTunes and then onto my phone. Also, I'm going to run this video at a slow pace. I want to try and help people that are perhaps not as computer literate as others. And I'm sorry if you're young, if you're a bit of a whiz kid, you're going to find this uh, extremely frustrating. But I'll try and do a pop-up in the video to advance you to the most core part of the process, which will help you speed things up. But what is the problem? Well, the problem is when I download and listen to audiobooks on my iPhone and I pause the book and I go off and do something else, if I go back to it immediately or within certainly within a couple of hours, it remembers the place where I was. But if I leave it to the next day, it forgets the place in the book and restarts it back at the beginning and it is incredibly incredibly annoying and I've been trying to find a work through for this for some time and I'm pleased to say I have now found a way of making the darn phone actually remember my place in the audiobook so that's what I want to share with you today but I also want to point out that every time the iPhone does an update it seems to change things, so this might not work in the future, so please don't blast me with comments and have a go at me if you watch this in a few months' time and it doesn't work. It's currently working now, uh, and that's about the best I can do. Now, if you're a little bit impatient or you want to jump ahead and you've already got the audiobook stored on your iPhone, then a little pop-up's coming up on the screen now. Jump ahead to that time frame because that little tip there might just be all that you need to remember your place. But for everybody else, I'm gonna go right back to the beginning here, and uh, we're gonna start with the audiobook downloaded on a file on your PC. So, like me, I'm sure you've got a file on your desktop that's uh, called your audiobooks, and that's where you store all your ripped or downloaded audiobooks. So you need to open that up now, and then uh, select one of the audiobooks in that file. Right click on the audiobook and then you should see a pop up appear on the screen. What you're interested in is the property tag, and that's very last on the bottom of the list. So go ahead and left click that. This brings up the audiobook's properties. Now, the thing we're interested in is the little attributes there where it says read only. We want that unticked or unchecked that box needs to be clear now it might already be clear on your book but if it's ticked read only you want to untick that so you have that box clear and unticked tick apply and then ok to action it now go ahead and open itunes so you've got itunes loaded plug in your phone or ipod or whatever you use to listen to your audiobooks. Now hopefully your version does look the same as mine. Uh, they do keep changing it and updating it so if it looks a little bit different I'm hoping this tip's going to work. Try not to worry about that uh, too much. So what we need to do next is we need to transfer that audiobook, the one we just uh, looked at, and put that onto our device in uh, iTunes. Now there's plenty of ways of doing this. One of the easiest ways that I find is to on the desktop is to have iTunes open and also have the file open with the audiobook on it and just literally sort of click on it and drag it across and uh, physically drag it into the uh, the file that you want to store it in uh, iTunes now I try to put it in uh, audiobooks mine always seems to go into the music files on the phone and you know that's absolutely fine as long as you know where it is when you come to listen to it when you click and let go on the little book you should see above the Apple logo in iTunes you'll see that it is downloading and uh, syncing onto the device. Okay, that's great we've now got the audiobook onto our phone and now we can do the uh, bit that hopefully is going to make sure the phone remembers our place when we pause and uh, come back to the audiobook. In iTunes locate the audiobook which should be in a list and uh, just left click it to highlight it in blue go to the top files and click edit this brings up another menu and the option we want is song info it's just about halfway down so give that a left click this will bring up all the information about the song or audiobook now the important bit here and this is the key point is that we want to tick the little box there it says remember playback position and once that is ticked hopefully that's all we need to do 
to remember the position in the audiobook when we come back to it. Finally, don't forget to click OK just to make sure you save this option when you close the, uh, the box down and come out of iTunes. So that's it, congratulations, you're all done. Now, when I went back to my phone and I opened the audiobook, the skip forward and the skip back button had been replaced by 30 second jump forward, 30 second jump backwards, and that was reassuring. Now, since I've done this, I've had absolutely no problems, but as I said before, iTunes are notorious for changing things, so this tip may not work into the future. But one last little tip I will leave you with if this doesn't work for you, is that you can always take a screen snapshot of your audiobook when you want to pause and go off and do something. Now the way you do this is you press the on off button on top of your phone and the home button at the same time and it will take a photo which you will put into your photo album and from there it will help you remember where you are in the audiobook if this tip doesn't work. But okay, that's it for now. I do hope this works in the future and I do hope this uh, helps you. Please give the old uh, video the thumbs up because that helps the channel and please hit that subscribe and that'll encourage me to do more iPhone tip videos in the future. But as for now, as always, cheers. Thank you for sticking with it. I know it was a little bit long-winded, uh, but as always, stay safe and I'll catch you all on the next one.